What's going on guys, Huddled here, and today I'm going to be showing you how I record my videos and render in 240 FPS. I've gotten a lot of questions on how I get my clips to look so smooth in Kovacs, and I'm going to be going over the programs that I use to record, how I render it, and what you can do to get your OBS running better and get better quality videos. And so, the first thing you're going to need is OBS Studio. I'm pretty sure you can do Streamlabs as well, but I just like having it separate for recording clips and stuff, and then my separate Streamlabs OBS for streaming. And so, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is download OBS Studio, and then go into Settings. Um, the General tab, doesn't really matter. Um, what you're mainly going to want to look at is Output, and head on over to Recording. And make sure you tick the box so that you can get the uh, advanced output mode up here. I can't change it right now because I'm recording, obviously. But um, So right here, just copy everything. Uh, standard type. Just decide where you want to save it. One audio track. And for the encoder, I use the NVIDIA HVENC H264, the new one. Uh, this gives me the best performance in game. I've tried other ones. And for the rate control, I have VBR. And I record at 50,000 bit rate. Um, can... You can change this based on your system, but because you're recording at 240 FPS, you're going to want this to be pretty high. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't stream at 50,000 bitrate, but I re uh, record my clips at uh, 1920 by 1080, 240 FPS with a uh, 50k bitrate. For preset, I have it at quality, profile high, and if you want to copy these settings as well. And then also for replay buffer, replay buffer is what I use to save clips in-game. makes it much easier. Um, it runs much better than shadow play and you can get much higher quality and so you're going to want to just go here to replay buffer i have mine set to five minutes because some scenarios might be long um just do whatever uh you think you'll need in game you probably only need like a minute or in Kovex on some scenarios i would recommend like two minutes and what you're going to want to do in order to hit 240 fps is come down to video right here and you want to go to uh, set it to whatever resolution you want to record at. If your computer isn't good enough, you can record at 720 FPS, but I would suggest just dropping it down to like 120 FPS recording if you can't record at 1080p because you're going to want to have 1080p um, for the quality to make it look best on YouTube. And for the fractional FPS value, you want to change this because at first it'll just be like one number. You change it to a fractional FPS value and put 240 over 1, and this will hit uh, 240 frames. For advanced, you don't really need to change anything. Um, it just depends on your system. And uh, that's pretty much it for just the OBS settings. You really All, all you got to do is uh, go to uh, Output, and then go to Recording, and then change these settings, and then make sure you enable Replay Buffer. And for the audio, it's just uh, whatever you use for your system. And that's basically it for OBS. Um, pretty simple. And one thing you're going to want to do after you install OBS, to, in order to get rid of shadow play, you can uh, use NV Clean Install. This will get rid of all the bloatware that comes with your NVIDIA driver. I'll leave a link down to this in the description. Um, it's also included or in the Revy OS guide. Um, I'm probably going to do a separate guide on Revy OS and reducing system latency as well. And yeah, but for this tutorial, I'm going to be going over a clip that I already have recorded. Um, the next step that I use in order to render my videos is Sony Vegas. So the first thing you need to copy for Sunny Vegas is when you go to File New, the Project Settings. Just make sure it's set to 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS, and you're gonna want to have your frame rate right here. This will be uh, 30 by default. Have it set to 60. And as for the other settings, I'm not sure if I changed anything, but just right here, uh, I'm pretty sure these four settings. Do you want this on Smart Resample? That gives like the smoothness effect. So you just drag your clip after you get it in, and then so you have your clip right here. And you drag it into the timeline and then it'll ask you do you want to set your project video settings to match this media you're going to want to have to click no that way uh it'll remain at 60 fps so that when you render it it'll give the effect of resampling and you just want to trim your clip like you normally would you know just have it right here um uh for the sake of this video i'm not going to change anything about this clip but i will show before and after of the clip at the end of the video but you're going to want to go here Right click it, go to switches, and make sure it's used project resample mode because it'll be on a smart resample. And so as you can see, um, here is just like a 240 FPS clip. But you can't really tell. It looks 60 FPS. Um, the preview isn't super great. So what you're going to want to do after you have your clip in the timeline is go to file, render as. And then for the uh, rendering template that you want to use, you want to select Windows Media Video V11. Um, and then this is what it's going to be by default. You'll just go here and you'll click customize and then so just click the 8 MB Mbps and click customize and then I'm going to go over the settings that I have. Um, for audio, I just use this. 
for video, this is what I have, CBR, which is Media Video 9. For image size, I render at 1440p, which basically just uh, upscales the video, makes it look better. For pixel aspect ratio, you just put whatever. Uh, frame rate, I use 60fps for rendering. And then override default compression, and then I have my video set to the sharpest. And for the bitrate, I use uh, 60m. Um, it makes the videos look super smooth, and the file size isn't too big with Windows Media videos. And then that's basically it for the render settings. Once you have this, you basically all you got to do is just change it to whatever you want to name it, and then uh, render the video. And then that's basically it. Um, obviously, I didn't have it completely selected, but so here's just a simple like cut from the clip. Um, as you can see, it looks a lot smoother um, than the normal clip that I'm going to show the before and after. So I'm going to fully render it out and then right now I'm just going to play the before and after for you guys so you guys can see. Uh, I'll leave links in the description of everything I use and for my next upcoming videos, I'm going to have a uh, install guide on Revy OS as well as other guides that I've followed in order to reduce system latency. If you have any other questions about how I record my videos or how I um, edit as well or streaming settings, anything like that, just ask me and then I'll try and help you. But I think the main thing that people want to see is the uh, latency guide so that you can get a uh, better mouse input and system latency. Um, thanks for watching and uh, I'm going to show the before and after of this clip.